Okay, so we're getting started with Scratch Animation and we want to be able to keep score and we're going to do that with this data uh, section here. So we're going to go ahead and make a variable which stores information and we're going to go ahead and call this score because we're going to keep score. And we're going to see now um, up at the left hand corner here, we now have a scorekeeper. So we're going to make a quick program that's going to allow um, for Scratch to keep score and this can be used when we create future games in Scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and pick two characters and I'm going to pick a shark and a small fish. So I'm going to go ahead and find the shark here. We can go ahead and remove this scratch character. And I want the shark that has the mouth open. So to do that, I'm just going to go to costumes and click on number two. And now I have the shark image that I want. And I also need a little fish. So if I go to animals, we'll use fish number two. And to scale the size, I'm going to make the fish smaller. And I'm going to make the shark larger. Okay, and I have them positioned where I would like them. So I would like it where each time the shark touches the fish, I would like it to make a chomping sound and I would like it to keep score so it would increase by one each time. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use my events block. And when the green flag is clicked, I want to set the score to zero. And I'm going to use this forever block so that it continuously changes. And I want it to be as if the shark is in water. So I want this shark to move back and forth a little bit. So it's going to turn uh, degrees. And because I want it to be random, I'm going to use the pick random and slot that in there. And I'm going to make it between, let's say, uh, 20, negative 20 to positive 20 degrees each time so that it will um, have a little bit of a rocking motion and we'll make it move a couple of steps each time. We'll make it move about three steps so it moves a little bit. So if I was to go ahead and press the green flag, my shark would just move. But if we want to activate where it keeps score, we're going to use an if block. So we'll go ahead and move over this if blank then. So if my shark is touching, not the mouse corner, we want it to touch the fish, so fish two. So if the shark is touching the fish, then we're gonna change the score by one. And we're gonna play a chomping sound and then we'll make it move. So to go to sounds and if we want to get that chomping sound, we'll go to the list of Sounds, we'll go to animals, and it's the third one here, chomp. We'll play a chomping sound until done. So we'll make it keep chomping until it's done. And we'll move our shark a little bit more. We'll make him move about 100 steps. Okay. So when the green flag is clicked, my score will be set to zero. My shark is going to be turning a couple of degrees each time and it's going to move three steps. And once it touches the fish, my score is going to increase by one, play chomping sounds and move back. So we're going to go ahead and watch this and see if it works. So each time it's touching my fish, it is increasing my score and obviously now I need to go back and um, figure out how I can program my shark to turn in the proper directions but this is a good starting point and now I'm able to make the alterations that need um, to be made in order for my shark to continuously swim around and grab the fish. So I want you to go ahead and practice using the data variable and create a score variable where it keeps score. And this is going to help you when we're creating games in the future. So go ahead and give it a try.